Grand Theft Auto, or GTA, is known for its open world design and the player's ability to explore a wide range of moral dilemmas. Arguably the most well-known aspect of GTA is the exaggeration of real-life American culture, such as violence, corruption, and capitalism. Due to the game's freedom of expression, players can commit as many hit-and-runs, robberies, or murders as they want. The developers advocate for the creative freedom with their game, reflecting values that prioritize pushing societal boundaries. The game itself is morally ambiguous. In GTA Online, the players can either play the role of a cop or a regular person. Even then, players who play the roles of police or other law and justice roles do not always make good moral decisions. On community forums such as Reddit, it is common to see players complaining or joking about the police brutality that occurs in the game. The players, although able to play cops, can run people over and shoot people, reflecting the criticisms that real cops have, such as them being trigger-happy or harming innocent people. Having to little, little to no consequences for their actions, they're allowed to abuse their positions of power. For example, in this thread, one user says, In the game, some guy got pissed because I parked on the sidewalk. He pulled me out of my car and started to kick me. A cop happened to be there and they shot the guy and drove off. This reaction is a little too far-fetched. In real life, no one would be able to no cop would be able to shoot an innocent person for doing something like that. At most they would be arrested, but in game, it is seen as okay because it is just a game. The creator is not putting any real punishment into the game, and allowing players to apply the law themselves demonstrates their critique through satire and criticism of the desensitization of violence in media. GTA is also often criticized for its violence and misogyny. These values are demonstrated in the female characters, as they are depicted in stereotypical roles such as prostitutes, damsels in distress, or strippers. Even in this photo here, which is the main photo for the Xbox version of GTA 5, the woman is seen in a very provocative pos position. She is very attractive and appeals to the male gaze. This harbors a fan base of misogynistic male players who view women as nothing more than sexual objects. These aspects of GTA are shunned by women, causing boycotts to happen. For example, Searching of misogyny in GTA instantly shows all of these blurred out thumbnails or videos that players make that put the women in compromising positions or sexualizing them. Female reviewers were also harassed for simply expressing their opinion of the game. In this review by Carolyn Petit, which, which was released in 2013, many years later, even many years later, there are still people who are calling out her review for putting her own feelings into it. They say that her review is too political, even though the game itself is political. The game itself sexualizes women, but these men get upset when a woman criticizes the game. However, values like freedom, which are crucial to the culture of America, is celebrated Critique of authority and its ineffectiveness is welcome in a society where police are thought to be kind of useless when it comes to crime. Furthermore, while GTA allows players to engage in criminal activities, it also presents a narrative that emphasizes the repercussions of those actions, like showing players what a practically lawless state is like, or what a state where the police are not well trained enough to deal with these criminals are like. This fosters a deeper appreciation for law and order, as players witness a lack of a good justice system. This contrasts games like Spider-Man for the PS4, where the player must be a good and effective form of justice in an open world city. In terms of technology, Rockstar Games uses its realistic graphics, first and foremost, to accurately depict the violence immediately to the play and the interactive roads and the cities that are scaled accurately to the real city also helps the player immerse themselves in these roles. 
so the players have a more accurate experience in looting places or driving recklessly. Visually, the hypersexualization of females and the portrayal of different groups of people reflects broader societal issues like misogyny, racism, and objectification. For example, many protests can happen on the streets of GTA 5. In this photo, this is a group of people who are protesting police brutality. These scenes invite the player to reflect on the implication of these social issues in the game. The developers acknowledge that these issues exist, they put it in their game, but the way gamers may treat each other or non-playable characters in the game reveals a lot about how they treat others and, these so and how they view these social issues in real life. For example, someone who ignores the protest on police brutality may see it as a waste of time, and that's how they may see police brutality in real life too. They may see it as a non-issue, the way that they do in game.